What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fire, the man, Eric Sheets Haber. Hope you're all having a good Wednesday. Um, coming off of a decent night. Not a, I mean, it wasn't even decent. It was just a little bit of a small profit, but I guess it, things could be worse. Just a little frustrating. Keep having these these solid-ish nights, and then I can't quite put together the big one, but it's you know it'll come soon enough. And uh, yeah, Sheets, how did you do? And then uh, let's talk about tonight's slate. Um, so I didn't do that well last night. Uh, I, we were doing, had, had our, our site call and I was in first place at the one hour into the slate, which means nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, one second, we'll try. To yeah. Find, find him. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of ready to get after it today. There's two, uh, there's two slates um yeah yeah i mean it it's it's a uh, the second slate this this main well i guess the main slate the evening slate i'll call it i guess today because it's got less games but man it's it's not all it's going to be hard to try to find too many ways to get different so we're going to have to try and think a little bit creatively on, on how to do that exactly you have one thing you have is a million pitching options but you don't really have a whole lot of i mean outside of the first game there's not like an obvious well i guess there's there's two obvious teams to target. It would be Milwaukee and San Diego. And I just think that's where the ownership's going to go. So trying to figure that one out as we go, not to mention, we don't know who's going to be in lineups and whatnot. So we'll do our best uh, going through it. Why don't we pull up your screen and go game by game on this little five gamer. Yep. And, and, I, and, you know, it's funny as I used to, I used to have a, a to hate it when it was like this in the little tiny slates or whatever. I, if they're going to have reasonable tournaments and there's five games, I think that's fine enough. Cause it, it, you know, this is what we talk about all the time, how to get different and, oh, we can't do it on this slate or that kind of thing. Like the Dodgers would have been a perfect example of a great team to stack on a five-game slate. I didn't feel like doing it on the full massive slate last night. Of course, it probably would have. I don't think it would have won all the money, but it would have come certainly close to it. Um, anyway, Pittsburgh-Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, so I think Peralta is obviously a strong pitching option. I don't know that. I actually think that he's not. Oh, I don't think. Up. I don't think he's an option at all. You think he's going to be, be given any kind? Oh of my! Abuse? My fault. My fault. My fault. I, I didn't. I had, I had this misread here. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to play Peralta at uh, 9700 coming off of the, uh, okay. the DL. So uh, yeah, excuse me on that one. Uh, the Milwaukee, I think, is going to be the more one of the more chalky teams hitting wise. You've got cool uh, BD on the other side. I, though some places are saying cool, I, I don't know. I, I've got to double check this exactly what's happening. Oh, cool is now with the Rockies. I, I'm totally confused. Cool is with yeah, my bad. Um, he was with S Pittsburgh for a while, so it confused me. So I think this is going to be the most popular spot. I have no arguments against it. Um, as you said, Milwaukee kind of frustrated you a little bit last night. Um, just because they they will pinch it for their guys, even their guys who are you know one of the home run leaders in baseball, and they 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 just switch things up late in the games quite a bit. But I don't know how to you know I, I don't know. I have Milwaukee as as clearly the the one or two. They're right there with San Diego. But I just think at this ownership, unless you try to stack it kind of funny by playing Tyrone Taylor, McCutcheon should be low owned. Uh, Hunter Renfro I think like those three guys are your ways of standing out and, and being a little different but it's really hard not to want to pick on Tyler Beatty and it's really hard to try and, and well I should say Tyler Beatty slash the Pittsburgh bullpen and I just don't want to play all the massive chalk on this slate which might get even smaller because we've got weather concerns in St. Louis so just sort of struggling with this one in general maybe an argument would be to play some Pittsburgh it is a good bullpen in Milwaukee um Peralta is probably going to pitch what 65, 75 pitches. And yeah, I mean, but you do have really cheap options on the Pittsburgh side. So I'm sort of up in the air on this one. What are you thinking about here? Yeah. I don't want to play uh Peralta uh, with a, probably going to be a big, big old pitch cap um, and uh, pitch count. And um, uh, I, I'm, I, I rather not play Milwaukee as chalk. Um, they they're they're rate they listen they rate to be a good play but i mean i i i i would just rather not do it the thing that's annoying that you just mentioned was that one of the natural teams that i want to play is is st louis i didn't realize that there was the concerns over there which is going to be uh thoroughly annoying um but uh yeah i mean milwaukee rates fine but to, for the ownership that i'm projecting for them at least early um yeah. i i don't i don't want to do it it's just, 
yeah, it's just going to be hard to find another another place that's maybe more off the board to go. I mean, we, we're we're very we're very close to talking about the Angels as being the best tag. <laughs> that's 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 actually and we get to it. That's actually like the number one rated value stack on the board. <laughs> yeah, I get it because they don't have any players. Yeah. <laughs> well, excuse me. They they have Joe Adele, so I don't want to hear it. Hey, actually, I I like Joe Adele. I still I, I he's, he would be one of my one of my guys today. Actually, I mean the Joe Adele Magnarius Sierra uh, uh, Magnarius Sierra. I mean, if you, I, I'll go on a record and say this: if you start playing tournaments now, it's a five game slate. So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you play a player who's played for like ten years in the major leagues and has never hit a home run before. I just think <laughs> that you're doing something wrong in DFS. You want to at least have the ability to hit a home run. Know that well, it's I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you. It's interesting you say that because. Because one of the um, one of the things that I do when I uh, when I build my stacks, even using SaberSim or whatever, I always like give like kind of a, a, a little one time look afterward just to make sure I don't have uh, just guys I don't want. And whenever mm -hmm. Washington the Nationals are are kind of like sort of in play, I just see that they always they always want to get me to that 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 uh, that lead off guy with like zero home runs. I was Hernandez, I think. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I don't need to play that. You know what I mean? So yeah. I usually X him. Um, and yeah, he could be part of a stack, right? But I'd rather like start with a guy that, that at least has the capability of hitting the ball more than 300 feet, you know? So, right. um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. For, for me, Milwaukee's going to rate to be one of the one of the better plays, but I don't know. I'll, I'll probably end up fading. Yeah, I'm going to, I might include just the guys I talked about and then try to do it. Like I'll do a three man stack with the three lowest owned guys or something. And, and they're all legitimate, you know, power threats anyway. So, it's it's just you have to get real creative with your with what you're doing. And also, you obviously don't need to stack today, so you can just find your best bats. This is a five game slate that's turning into a four game slate. And well, if, what's and weird, I, what's weird is that is that for me also the pitching the pitching is where I can't get away from the chalk. You know, so so if if I can't get away from the chalk, you're telling me there's a lot of pitching options. I'd love to I'd love to hear them because because I have like a standout like uber chalk pairing. So I I can't I can't play Milwaukee with those two. Um, yeah. But we'll 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 see. Maybe you can talk me to some other pitchers. Well, okay. I'll, I'll, let's get to the next game then, because I will. I I, I think Mikolas is one of the best options on the slate. Um, I I don't I don't I don't think that I I know that there's going to be the, the extreme chalk in the next couple games. Um, I think Mikolas is every bit as good of a play as those guys are against the Cubs. Uh, we know he's got an incredible leash. We know the Cubs' offense is nothing to this. Again, we need the weather to 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 comply with us here. But uh, I do think Mikolas is, is a really strong option. And at 8,300, it seems more than fair against the Cubs to me. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think Mikolas is a strong option. And I would be all over St. Louis today. And they also, unfortunately, will probably will be fairly popular if they're not uh, – if, if the game doesn't go. I mean, you just can't have all these guys – I mean, like I said, you can't play everybody, but you, you can play 20 – there can be 20% of everybody – and um, this is a slate where I think that might happen. It'll be mostly Milwaukee, some San Diego. Then you get St. Louis and Anaheim as the other ones. Maybe the Dodgers will get some ownership. So maybe it's a little more spread out than I'm giving you credit for. But if if this game doesn't play, it certainly isn't going to be spread out. And I think that, you know, you see, you know, see St. Louis against the lefty, hard not to get excited and play everybody here. And that's probably a, a good spot to to attack. So I'm actually I like Justin Steele as a, a, from his talent level. This is a really tough matchup for any lefty. Uh, you do have you know it's 85 degrees, somewhat small winds blowing in, but I, I really like Mikolas and I think that he would be a guy I would be one of the highest on if this game is good to go. Well, first of all, how did Wainwright end up doing last night? Great. Yeah, uh, I mean that was that was a big mistake by me by not playing him. He only much. struck out four guys, but he gave up no runs and I think two hits in seven innings. Did he get 25? 25, 24 points something. Yeah. Or maybe, um, maybe it was 28, but that may have been, been before they got the win. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he was, a. I mean, like I, again, and and this is, this is a similar thing, except for Mikolas is a better pitcher. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think, I think that, what do you, what do you think about this one shoots? Yeah. So like I said, um, I'm not getting the, I, I wasn't getting to these pitchers, but I, I, I need to get to somebody other than, other than other than Snell Otani, right? If I want to play Milwaukee, but maybe I don't know. Um, so uh, I am looking for options, and let me let me take a quick look at what I have for the weather in this. Now it's early, right? I mean, yeah, it's looking grim, right? Crap, um, pretty grim. We'll see. And there's another one too. This actually no, it's just this one. 
Yeah, I don't know. I hope I hope the game I hope the game goes. Um, and this is one I I, I don't want to mess with this if there's if there's significant risk. So I don't know. it is rated to be kind of a crappy slate. I think I know what I'm gonna end up doing though. I will, we'll talk about it. I'm almost positive of what I'm gonna end up doing, and it's gonna be ridiculous. But it's what you should do on these slates, in my opinion. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I like um, St. Louis if they play, and uh, it's about it for now. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about Oakland and uh, and LA. And by the way, just just because I said I, you don't need a stack, so I'm, I'm going to throw out a few of the bats that I would target. Uh, Arenado and Goldschmidt are obvious. I think Tyler O'Neill would be my next favorite, followed by DeYoung and Edmund, uh, just because Edmund will have, have lower ownership further down in the order. You also have the cheap Albert Pujols, and we'll see how many people actually want to do that. Um, Oakland, LA. This is this is the obvious. This is, I mean this could be a, a massive slate and that could be the same prices and Otani would still be the massive chalk that I think we're going to be looking at like 80% tonight and maybe higher. Um, this, this might be the spot to, to, to do the reverse Otani thing and play the uh, play Oakland. They don't have much power, which was one thing Otani struggles with sometimes is power. He also, you can run on him though. Um, so depending on whether the kid Jonah bride is in the, in the lineup, or any of these other guys who, who can steal a base are up there at yeah, Elvis Andrus. Depending on how the lineup shakes out, I actually think taking some bats from Oakland is the right way to go and fading Otani is. Now, it's not going to work out most of the time, but it doesn't need to work out that much of the time. And even, even with Otani, with the way his, he, he works, you could actually use a, an Oakland bat or two in a lineup against him on this slate, especially if we lose the St. Louis game. And I think Loriano would be my favorite, but I just don't see these guys getting any ownership. And I think that, you know, Otani has been much less volatile this year. He's been much better, but he still has the volatility in him and he still will give up some hard contact and he'll, he'll, he'll give up some stolen bases. So maybe against a team that he's faced a number of time. Uh, I think that this is a, an interesting spot to, to just go completely leverage and, and, and play the A's here. Um, I'm not saying fully five man stack them, but getting maybe a three man or four man stack. I could definitely see myself doing that by the end of the day and fading Otani, which should allow me to be different enough to have a chance in GBPs. Give me a good umpire and I'll, I'll game stack this. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Cause the angels, as I mentioned earlier, are showing up as good, cheap options. Um, and, uh, but then again, like where are you going to spend your money? If you're going to play Oakland and, <laughs> and the angels, you know what I mean? Like where mm -hmm. are you going to spend money on pitching? I don't, I don't even know what to do. Um, but um, yeah, I, 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 I think that, uh, well, obviously Otani rates to be a top pitcher, right? Uh, let's, let's get that out of the way. And in cash, that's who you would play. Um, I really think as we, you know, I'm going to talk about the next game, not at the same time, whatever. I think that if you're, certainly if you're going to play Milwaukee, I think that your, your complimentary stack, if you're in fact, you're going to stack, which as you mentioned, you don't have to. I think really in GPP should come from either Oakland or Colorado. You know, I, I really think that you're supposed mm -hmm. to do that on this slate, if not both of them. Um, uh, I, I think that, that those two pitchers, Snell and Otani, just rates to be such chalk that and, and given the fact that both of them have their issues um that could show up from time to time i think both those guys you should be you should be uh playing some leverage stacks against especially if you're going to you know pair them with with a, with a chalky milwaukee so that, not to go over two games at the same time but i think i think the, the i think the idea is very similar yeah and 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 one thing you're just sort of touching on you didn't quite say but you sort of are touching on is that I think this is a slate where you should have no problem leaving money on the table if if yep. you want to try and get different. This is a perfect oh, yeah. slate to do that. Oh yeah. Um, but I again, uh, so I've got you know I'm going to go with some preferred plays from each game because again, like I said, I don't think you need to stack. The problem of stacking the Angels and looking like them as, as a good value is who the hell are we playing? Because we're their their one their their best bat obviously is Otani. Um, but Jared Walsh and Max Stasi both stand out as, as well as I think you could say the Joe Adele, but you're, you're not going to need the savings, but depending on where he hits in the lineup, I don't mind Joe Adele. I still believe in the talent level. And then on the A's side, it would be Loriano, probably Andrus, um, or Mashin, depending, or if they let Jonah Bride play, I don't know what that's, what's going to happen with that. And then, uh, Seth Brown would be my third Seth Brown and Sean, Sean Murphy, Tony Kemp too. I mean, all these guys, they can steal bases. Like I just don't want to play necessarily all of them, but I do, I do want to get a couple Oakland bats, at least in my main lineup and try to fade Otani if possible. And uh, it's hard to do, but it's, it's something that I, I, I just think you need to go super contrarian to really give yourself a real chance when you're not max entering on these slates. 
All right, so I'll tell you something as we talk about the San Diego Colorado game. All right, so if if, if this were my youth, okay, mm-hmm. if this were my if this if I was if I was the man I used to be, right, so mm-hmm. to speak, you got San Diego with their big freaking coming out party for Juan Soto, right? He's, he's showing up. Josh Bell is showing up. Is 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 Josh Hader in the bullpen now? You know, whatever. Yep, Josh Hader's they're in all, the bullpen. They're all there. They're all there. Bra- Bra- Brandon all, Drury, all who's, who's who's arguably been the best hitter of all the guys we just talked, they're, talked they're, about. They're all active. Okay. Blake Snell's coming in. I I would I would just pound Colorado here. I mean, this is just a perfect perfect storm for Colorado at like a plus three hundred like money line if we can come in here, or certainly plus the one and a half runs. You know, at, at, at probably plus money there also. I just, I just, I just totally see that happening. Um, so for me, uh, I look uh, San Diego certainly rating to be one of the better options, certainly against Chad Cool. Um, but uh, and also Splakes now is the is the second part of the chalk alongside of Otani. Um, but I probably will end up doing either Oakland or Colorado. Uh, in my, especially if it's a four game st- four game slick. Yeah, um, that's, that's that's just what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, and the argument I made for uh, against you know against Otani is every bit is more every more so true with Blake Snell in terms of his his variance, like just wild complete variance. I think I do have pitchers information, so let me just double check this for today. Umpire, we've got I'm sorry, umpire information. Um, what do I have here? Excuse me. Um, cause I think, yeah, we do already. It's ex- only extreme is the extreme pitchers umpire in St. Louis, but I don't even know if that game's going. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I agree with you, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I don't mind at all, uh, attacking the, you know, playing the Rockies Snell actually really struggled. It was in Colorado last time. So obviously grain of salt, but there is no reason why this team couldn't get to them. They've actually been, you know, surprisingly good against lefties. Uh, Snell's faced them three times already this season, two times he's been hit pretty good. Hasn't made it through four and two thirds in, in either in the first in two of those three. Um, this does seem like a good spot to, 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 if you're going to take a stack with call to, to go with Colorado at, at very low ownership. Um, if you're going to go for individual bats, I would put CJ Cron as one of the, uh, one of the best options on the slate, uh, in terms of low, you know, low ownership with power upside. And then you could sort of decide Brendan Rogers, uh, Charlie Blackman, Randall Gritchick, Connor Joe, all those guys would be in play if you're going to go the anti-Snell route. I do like Snell here also, um, you know, as, as a pitcher, but uh, m- maybe I end up with Urias and Mikolas and then I end up playing a couple bats from Colorado, a couple bats from Oakland, and then I can start a stack whoever I want. If I, if I wanted to stack the Dodgers with them, I think that's very, very viable. Um <laughs> It, it's 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 august to, it's august 3rd um is is the san francisco what's the weather in san francisco gonna be 55 tonight 52 it's, it's 61 wow. and by the way, I, I, wave, I love, wave. yeah by the way san diego is is actually going to probably be the chalk stack and maybe the guy you can use to get a little different is drury because he's six almost 6k right um but I don't even think that's going to, I just think it's going to be really hard to get different with San Diego's stack. Um, maybe Grisham down at the bottom of the order gets low ownership. I don't know. It's just, it feels like everybody's going to stack San Diego left and right with their, uh, the pieces of their new lineup with Josh Bell, Juan Soto, and Drury in there, if they all are in there, which I think they will be. Um, yeah, I, I always makes sense to pick on Chad Cool, except for when he complete game shutouts to the Dodgers. Um, yes. <laughs> that's the crazy one. So the Dodgers, you know, Again, they're going to be lower owned than these other some of these other stacks. If you include any of the bottom three, like Bellinger, assuming Gallo plays, I don't know if that's that's for real or not, um, or Outman, uh, that that would probably be your way to get different with the Dodgers stack. But I think the Dodgers are completely viable, and you know the bet they're the best at offense on the slate, other than maybe now San Diego. You actually with the current lineups that you probably argue San Diego is the better one. Um, I don't I don't know. I, I'm up in the air on that one. But I, yeah, the Dodgers make a lot of sense. And then I really like Urias here, actually. I, I think that, you know, he's he's been really, really, really good. Um, obviously has a lot of experience with the Giants, which makes me a little nervous on big slates. I don't always like to go there, but his last two starts against the Giants, he put up 22, 27, the start before that, 23. Um, just solid. And the Giants are, you know, they're 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 not the easiest team to 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 pick on in general, but I could get behind Urias. And if I wasn't going to play Urias here, 
I, I don't I don't mind the idea of some giants to go with you know, to, to using sort of the same, the same idea of Colorado or Oakland, just, just for ownership. Um, Mercedes and, and Slater would be the the preferred guys, but uh, sorry. And Flores, um, but Brandon belt, even in the lefty lefty, I think that'll be a very low owned option that I could certainly get behind. So I I'm, I'm okay with that, but I'm trying to find my just favorite bats here. And my favorite bat for the Dodgers is no shocking, no shocker here, but going to be Mookie, then Trey, and then probably it probably one, two, three. And then I would say Muncie would be my, my fourth, actually. I think that he's actually started to look a little bit better when at the plate. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just trying to find my favorite bats overall and see if I can, if I can do something different. Cause I, I am totally no idea how to get, how I'm going to attack this slate. Cause I don't feel like a full stack of the, you know, if you full stack the Padres or, or, or Brewers, it's just going to be really, really hard to win. Um, at the same time, they, they seem like the best stacks, but I, I just think it's going to be really hard to win. Uh, you know, what do you, what do you do with this Dodger game? I think the Dodgers are clearly the play on the slate. I mean, I, I think they have, I mean, they just have to be, yeah. um, uh, I mean, if, if, if I almost want the St. Louis game to play because if the St. Louis game doesn't play, then I think that, that the Dodgers are going to get like all the pivot ownership. You know what I mean? Um, I think they're going to get plenty owned anyway. Well, I mean, it's a smaller slate. Like, yeah. But, but Alex, I mean, screw Alex Cobb. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. The Dodgers, the last couple of days, like, we were like, oh, I don't know about the Dodgers. All they, all they do is, is 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 blast people. You know what I mean? So yeah. so they don't care about the weather. They don't care about any of it. You know what I mean? Those And and um, is Cody Bellinger out or something? Or why well, I, I just want to throw one thing out here, by the way. Ur- Urias, just, just can I just throw you one number out here? He, in 100 against against the, the, the Giants roster, He's had 116 play, bat, at bats against him, 47 strikeouts. They're hitting 085 off of them. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean and that, that's the other thing I was going to say is, I mean, this is, I mean, that, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to play Urias and then then something else, and the bun and a bunch of Dodgers starting with starting with Bellinger at 3600. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what's his name? Uh, is Muncy Muncy is 4K against the righty? Um, I don't know. This looks good to me. I'll start. I'll start with these guys, and then who else gets to play? Does Gavin Lux play anymore? Yeah. Um, Gavin Lux is like a three hundred legit three hundred hitter. Like he's like, he's like. I mean, I don't even want to get fancy. I just want to play the lefties. Even I mean, I don't even need to play Mookie. I'll play. I'll play. I'll, I'll pay for Freeman if you want. Um, yeah. And then I'll play Gavin Lux. Make him at second base, maybe. Um. And then play Urias, and then I'm then I'm then I'm ready for action. I won't play uh, both. So who am I going to play? Who do you who like more, Snell or Otani? Um, uh, put Snell in, and then Snell and and Urias, and then for Max. Hey, I want to fill it all for you, but for Max and for Max uh, aggravation, um, we'll play uh, we'll play uh, Oakland guys. You know what I mean? Like yeah, in here. Yeah. Now, now now we're on a four even a four game slate. This will be different. You play a Dodger A's pairing, mm-hmm. you know, that's not bad. I, I think that's actually pretty good. And I, I do think the Dodgers are going to be popular for what it's worth, but I, I totally hear where you're coming from. And, uh, and one thing about Cobb that, you know, you can run on Cobb too. That's why I mentioned Mookie and, and Turner. Uh-huh. So I, you know, you, you're, you're not going to, this is a sheet slate kind of a night. It's, 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 un, yeah. it's unlikely that somebody's going to go out there and score like 200 points on DK tonight, unless something very weird happens. So the question is then who gets the zero? Who gets to win, me, to win for, me the to your, win me the tournament? To win you the tournament, it's not going to be. You know, it's going to be. It's going to be Freeman at sixty one hundred. It's <laughs> it, you know, I I don't know if it can be Freeman. Is that is that guy <laughs> ever have an offer? Like, no. and if he does, like he, he always has a walk or two or something. You know what I mean? It's no, he's nice. zero. I mean, he, let me see. I don't know. He's he, even his offer. Wait, no, he doesn't. He had the one offer, but he had the walk. I don't know if he hasn't reached that one. I mean, I mean he, he just, always has something. He always got something going on. Um, yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, look at the year he's having very quietly. He almost wasn't going to be an all-star and because he only had 15 home runs. And I'm like, this guy's hitting 325 now or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, and I, th- but I do think you, but so, don't you realize nobody cares about batting average anymore. So. I, I don't, I, yeah, strange. People <laughs> don't realize some, some things that certain things actually do matter a little bit. I mean, so his on base percentage, we can go with that if you want to. Right. His, his on base percentage is awesome. People right. love that. 
Um, but I like I like the getting I, I like, you know, my favorite from the from the popular stacks are going to be the low owned guys. So I, like I said, Brandon Drury at fifty nine hundred um, for for Milwaukee, it would probably be Chris, uh, McCutcheon because I think he'll be the, the sort of the forgotten one of the outfielders. Um, and uh, you could you could include Tyrone Taylor in that mix as well uh, down at the bottom of the order. But uh, on the on the other guys, other favorite bats, just individually, Walsh, uh, Stassi, um, one of the whoever is at the top of the lineup for Oakland that can run Kemp, Andrus, depending on who the, who it is, whether it's Jonah Brides in there, Loriano, Adele, CJ Krohn, Mookie Betts, Muncie, and Drury as sort of what I have as my my one offs that may turn into my my whole lineup tonight because I I, I just think that. You know, and those guys are all ownership based plays, but uh, except for except for Betts and Muncie. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be a weird slate. Uh, I don't know oh. for sure that I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here for live, but I'm not 100 percent. It might be a little bit of a quick live because it's only a, a five right. gamer. Um, But I, sh- I should be around for it anyway. And uh, yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be fun to try and build some creative lineups and try to get different say that and hopefully we'll already have our big winnings from the first half of the day which we're about to go live for that's right um yeah anything else sheets before i get out of here no sounds good all right good luck so to I'll, everybody I'll hook, so i'll hook back up with you i'll see you at 12 okay sounds good man. i'll, I'll, I'll right. send you a message good luck everybody